Hi, it's me, Teacher Mike, from PhuketPals.org. I hope you're all okay. In this video today, we're going to look at another way to spice up your writing. Okay, this way it uses conditionals, okay? Um, using if clauses, in fact. Um, this is quite, it's very, very simple to do. Um, and you can use it effectively in writing task two. You can also use it in the speaking as well, if you wanted. Um, but here, as you can see, what we do is we state an opinion and then we follow this up with a conditional sentence. So this could be, your, this could be a topic sentence uh, of a body paragraph and then followed up with a conditional sentence. And it just gives a nice kind of, it gives a nice flow uh, to the writing style. You'll see what I mean from the examples. What I've done is number one, I've, I've uh, put brackets around sentence uh, the first bit, which is the opinion, and then number two is the conditional sentence uh, as well. So let's have a look. Teachers have an important role to play in a young person's life. If a teacher's lessons are communicative, informative and engaging, they can greatly boost a kid's emotional, social and intellectual development. That sounds okay, doesn't it? It's quite nice. I like the combination. Let's read it again. Teachers have an important role to play in a young person's life. If a teacher's lessons are communicative, informative and engaging, they can greatly boost a kid's emotional, social and intellectual development. Okay, uh, example two. Schools should ban mobile phones if students continuously play on their devices and fail to engage properly in class, their grades and social skills will quickly regress. Let's look at it again. Schools should ban mobile phones if students continuously play on their devices and fail to engage properly in class, their grades and social skills will quickly regress. Okay, so there are the two examples I want to show you of this little technique. I want you to practice this as much as you can at home. It's a lovely way to have a topic sentence and the second sentence of your body paragraph. Okay, it, again, it adds some spice. It also, because you're using a conditional here, if, as we learned in the last video, this gives you a, a, a dependent clause. It gives you, if teachers' lessons are communicative, informative and engaging, it's a dependent clause, they can greatly boost the kid's emotional, social, intellectual development. Independent clause. So you have a complex sentence here, which gets you good grammatical range points from the examiner for task two writing. Okay, so that's it. Practice this as much as you can at home. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am Teacher Mike from PhuketPals.org. See you next time.